folks, welcome to Maverick Baking and welcome to another chocolate review. Today we're getting our teeth into some white chocolate and I couldn't be happier about it. We're going to be talking about a pretty kind of big name in mainstream mass marketed chocolate from the other side of the sphere upon which we reside. We're talking about an Australian milky bar with raspberry. But before we get into that, if you haven't already, do feel free to tap that subscribe button because we're conducting chocolate reviews, foodie vlogs, recipes, food challenges, all sorts, all the time. And I would love to see you there. Anyway, back to Nestle, back to Milky Bar, back to whoever Alan is. Today we're talking about this Australian Milky Bar, this big Australian Milky Bar that I picked up in my local B&M here in Scotland. That says it's new, I don't know how new it is, I don't know why it's made its way all the way to UK shores, but it has. It describes itself as deliciously creamy Milky Bar white chocolate with luscious bursts of mini juicy raspberry flavoured jellies inspired by Allen's. I am unaware of what Allen's is, I'm uneducated in the ways of Allen, but I'm guessing it's someone who makes wee raspberry jellies on the other side of the globe, so well done, Alan. It's mostly sugar and milk solids, followed by a little bit of kind of vegetable oil, which isn't great, but we then have these fruit pieces made with pear puree and sugar and citric acid and vitamin C and colorings and flavorings and things. So while I thought this was gonna be pieces of freeze-dried raspberry, I'm very intrigued to see how that kind of jelly, that sweet fruit jelly texture and flavor is gonna go in an already very sweet white chocolate. If I'm being honest, it's not particularly pretty. <laughs> you can see that we've got those kind of jelly cubes in there in amongst the white chocolate pieces. Looks slightly better on the back. I feel like they could have maybe done something in terms of like, I don't know, maybe some coloring, a little bit of red, a splatter of something. It just looks a little bit sinister. Just those dark kind of blood red pieces floating in amongst the white chocolate. And I must say, there is a really kind of very specifically a McDonald's strawberry milkshake. It's something that kind of specific. It's really strange. I have no idea what the texture is going to be like and I have no idea how this much sweetness is going to translate in one mouthful. But let's see if this is worth picking up or not. Immediately, the kind of jelly texture is a lot more palatable than I thought it was going to be. I feel like each piece of this goes through like three different flavor phases in your mouth. And I quite like it, you know. Immediately, McDonald's strawberry milkshake or Burger King strawberry milkshake. One of the two is that really kind of specific sweet strawberry vanilla milky flavor immediately. And it's very pleasant. If you're into that kind of Nesquik strawberry milkshake flavor, it's that basically immediately. Then you get that milky bar, you get that very kind of super sweet, super milky vanilla, specifically milky bar white chocolate flavor that then transitions immediately into berry flavored jelly sweets. Would I know they were raspberry more so than strawberry? I don't actually know, but it tastes like a red fruit sweet. And that's what each and every single mouthful is like. Super sweet, super milky, creamy, vanilla-y, strawberry-y, raspberry-y. I quite like it. It's definitely one for the sweet tooth type people among us that if you like kind of super chewy sweets, if you like white chocolate, you like that real kind of sugary childhood flavor, it's definitely a chocolate bar for us more so than people with a sophisticated palate. <laughs> and it's fun. The texture isn't too jarring, you know, for example, those Cadbury Marvelous Creations ones that have all the different things going on that just become really kind of confusing and jarring and just unappealing on the palate. This is fun. You get that strawberry flavor, the milky flavor, the everything all in one, and your mouth's dealing with different textures. It's got creamy, it's got jelly. There is admittedly a little bit of kind of chalkiness from the milk powder and the sugar in the milky bar chocolate, but that's pretty normal. You kind of know what you're signing up for here. You know it's not gonna be the smoothest, creamiest, most luxurious experience of your life, but this is fun. I can't really attest to whether it tastes specifically like Alan's raspberry jellies or what that means, but if you're looking for a fruity flavor with white chocolate, this is absolutely nailing it. Does it need to be in such an enormous bar? I really don't know, but I've seen a lot of Australian chocolate bars kind of coming in this standard size, so it's nothing particularly new. It's definitely fun though. It's delivering on flavor, it's nice to eat, it's a sweet little treat, and it's it's doing what it says it's gonna do. Honestly, I would give this quite a jovial four out of five, if I'm being honest. Would I personally buy it again at this size? Probably not, but it's definitely a flavor combination that works, and it's a nice kind of 
mix of textures in there too. If you guys have tasted this bar, let me know in the comments. If you are on the opposite side of the world from me in the land down under, please let me know if this is kind of true to the Allen's jelly specifically. If you've tried it, if you like it, or if you're like me somewhere in Europe or elsewhere in the world, do let me know if you would pick this one up. I would recommend it if you like that a sweet little taste every now and again. But I'm afraid that is all I have time for in today's review, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. As always, I appreciate each and every single one of you who taps and likes and subscribes and all of those things. Super, super, super kind of you to waste your time here on earth with me. And I will see you for the next one.